Hi everybody, welcome back to Rust on Console. This is on my Xbox Series S and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your G Portal community server. So it's a bit of a sandbox really, so you can build whatever you want, whenever you want, without the access to any um, workbenches or resources or having to wait around or anything like that. In fact, let me show you. So if I go into crafting at the moment, you can see I've got access to everything. Um, is all there. Um, yeah, there we go. A kayak. I could make a kayak. Let's craft one of those, shall we? <laughs> and, uh, let's have a look. Where is it? Uh, let's unequip that. Equip the kayak. So now I could uh, take a kayak down to the sea and play around with it. And generally, the, if you've bought a um, community server um, because you really want to learn look at that, uh, how to play Russ and have some fun building stuff. Or maybe you, you, you know Russ like the back of your hand, but you just want a, a private playground for you and your friends to come in. Then this is very, very, very powerful indeed. And I'm doing this without using any admin controls as well. Because although I am the owner, so I could go into the admin controls and go into uh, admin controls here and go into item list panel here. And then I could uh, spawn in, say, a bed. There we go. Now I should have a. Oh, there we go. I've got a bed, <laughs> which I could place in my little base here. Maybe oh, it doesn't really fit. So let's put it outside. Will it go anywhere? No, it won't go anywhere. It's not flat enough. Um, I just get my gun back out again. Uh, I don't need to because anybody who comes in who's allowed into the server will have access to free building, free resources, all this sort of stuff. So how do we do it? Well, let's jump out of here and let's go over to our um, G Portal Rust Console Edition uh, dashboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly go through the settings I have applied. So maybe if you're doing this at the same time, it will give you an idea. Now let's scroll down. The first thing, obviously, I've got it password protected, so not everybody can um, come in, which is very important. So only you and your friends. When whitelist become starts to work properly, then I would definitely give that a go. Um, now, although I'm um, not using for, for doing that stuff, I wasn't using sort of admin controls. If you want to add people to the admin, use the command uh, capital A admin ID and then your username, and you pop that into the console setting. So just go down to the console, paste that in, and that will then live add them in. So that if you want someone to have access control, obviously remember with admin people, with great power comes great responsibility and all that sort of stuff. Um, but for yourself, if you're doing it by yourself especially, that just gives you the option to, to um, teleport around the map as well and spawn stuff in whenever you like. So let's slowly go down. So I'm just using map, uh, map preset 788. Okay, uh, max players, blah, blah, blah. That's all random. This is all normal. It's all to default. Right, here we go. So stability. So um, you can choose whether to have this on or off. I've chosen to have it on so that when I'm building things, they will behave in a similar way to that they would if I was doing it on a normal server. If you turn it off, it means that buildings won't collapse if you build them a bit odd, you know, if they're too top heavy. I have turned radiation off though, so that I can wander around various parts of the um, map um, without having to worry about dying of radiation poisoning. And progress time, again, I've left that on because I think the nights are quite nice, aren't they, in Rust? But day length is 120, so that's um, two hours. But my light, night length is only five minutes, so we only have to have the dark for five minutes. Um, I've got the NPCs thinking and wandering around, but I've, I've turned the toggle to for them to ignore players. So they will be doing their own thing, but they're not going to bother me. I've left junk pile, bear, bear population, all this sort of stuff as default. But it is an immortal server, this. So I've clicked that on. So players won't be able to take any damage anyway. It is PvE, so players won't be able to shoot each other. But they will have infinite ammo and a full starting magazine. Full health. Um, scroll down a bit. Um... I haven't put any limits on building authorization turrets or team locks. Um, and I've got I've enabled builders paradise items. So what this means is when you spawn in, you spawn in with the um, building plan and the hammer um, and a couple of other things as well. And then we've got free crafting. So 
that you don't need to use resources. Instant crafting, so you don't have to wait. All blueprints are unlocked as well. So again, you can have access to anything that can be made. You can just build it. You don't have to have um, found or, or created a blueprint or have access to a workbench because we've got workbench override set to three. So it, it means that the service pretends that everybody's got a level three workbench. Um, I have increased the gather scale and the loot scale to three and two. So that if I do want to go around and manually gather stuff, it will you know i'll get more wood from trees for example um i've disabled item damage as well so that things don't lose health so you don't have to worry about using the um storage putting resources into storage to keep your base going uh, enable helicopter tar target players i've turned off so i don't want the helicopter firing at people i've turned off the bradley as well um uh, I've turned Demolish Hammer on, so this is quite cool because it means that if you do something wrong, you can just whack it with your hammer and it will demolish it. However, be very careful <laughs> because it doesn't mean you can you can knock things down by accident if you're not careful. Um, especially when you're upgrading things, you go to upgrade something and you hit it with your hammer by mistake and then you knock it down. But we've got free upgrading, so you can go from like. The sticks to the wood to the stone to the metal again uh players but free construction so people can build whatever they like um and that's it really um and then obviously you save that it will restart now there are plenty of problems at the moment with uh the, the servers um but what i think we'll see is over the next week or so we'll see a lot more stability coming in so things like the whitelist will be working properly um, and your connection problems will be sorting themselves out. But hopefully this has given you a really good idea how to produce, how to make a nice sandbox server so you can make and play around with whatever you like. It's not this sort of feeble construction that I've got here, but something really special indeed. Um, for fun, for practice, and um, just to make use of your own gportal Ross private community server. Okay, so hopefully this has been useful. If it has, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.